What is up guys, hope you're doing well and are excited for all the deck limited battles that are happening and are going to happen uh, until November 12th. I'm excited to, to watch them and fortunately I haven't made it to one of the tournaments but I am in the waiting list for one of the last tournaments so hopefully I can get in. However, even if I might not be able to play, I still wanted to showcase my Kaido list that I would play if I would participate. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this and leave a like if you're also excited for all the tournaments that are going to be happening the next couple of weeks and leave a comment. Let me know if you got into the tournaments and which deck are you playing. So without further ado, Let's get started. All right, so to start off this deck profile, we will go over the characters first. So to start off the deck, we have four Black Maria. Uh, not that much to say about Black Maria. We need blockers, so that's why Keep it at four, a very good card, two for two, and with a counter of a thousand, very flexible. And like I said, we need blockers, especially against Luffy, so that we can survive until the late game. The next character that we have is Sheep's Head. I left it at two, and one of the main reasons why it's in the deck, it's to increase the amount of counters that we have in the deck uh, we want to try to survive until late game like i said so we need to increase the counter uh, count until uh, around 30 is uh, for me i think a sweet spot and yeah so and also we can use uh, she said at the beginning for a bit of a, uh, a bit of pressure you know two costs for four it's extremely good. It doesn't take a lot of uh, dons to be able to attack uh, the leaders or um, destroy like a bunny if ever there's one. And uh, anyway, so good counter, early pressure. So yeah, that's why we have sheep's head. After that, we have four uh, who's who. Um, who's who? pretty good card it's a trigger and if we have it we play it for free it's pretty good three for three and on play effect for one done you get to the ko a three cost or less so pretty good card to go over the any blockers that uh, your opponent may have uh, obviously we can't use that on blockers that are five or more but a lot of the blockers in the starter game uh, starter deck are below three so that's a nice card to have and you can also snipe cards like nami and if ever he hasn't like activated the bonnie you can use that on bonnie but most of the time you hit bonnie uh, so yeah so who's who we put it at four because it's a pretty good card. Next one is Sasaki. Uh, Sasaki, three cost, 4,000 attack, counter for 1,000, uh, on play effect, down minus one, and you get to draw a card. So in this format, since we're very limited on the cards that we have, um, you wanna have the opportunity to draw or go through your deck. And Sasaki is one of the cards for Kaido that allows you to do that. Drawing one card is pretty powerful, especially when, when you're trying to get the characters for your late game, your Kaido, your King, or if you need a blocker like Queen, Sasaki helps you dig through your deck to find them. Then the next one that we have is four Jack. So you, okay, so we'll go over Jack first. Uh, three costs for 4,000, already there. It's a good ratio. 
and then you have a thousand counter so very flexible card that can be used to apply pressure or to counter but the, the highlight of this card is the on play effect that um, on play you may trash a card in from your hand and add a down from your deck and you set it as active so one of the main reasons why i put it at four is because most of the games and i've mentioned that in the last video that i do that i did for, for kaido is most of the games i don't see on my island early game so we need to increase our odds to speed up our deck to speed up the the down counters uh, the, the amount of down on the field so jack is very useful for that and also if you have if you happen to have onigashima on the field and you play a jack it increases your downs um, very high very fast to be able to play your late game kaido so jack at four i think it's very useful and like i mentioned you can play it as a counter so we want as much as many counters as we can but jack really is there to help you ramp the next card that we have is x-trick x-trick put it at four similar to why i put uh, sheep's head is to increase the amount of counters of the deck so first of all we have x-trick for three five thousand 5,000 damage is pretty powerful. You can, uh, with the two downs, you attack for 7,000, which is um, a sweet spot I find. It's very useful. Like, most of the times you'll have to uh, discard three count uh, like three cards to be able to counter that, or you just take the damage. So yeah, so extra egg, vanilla card, three for five, and a counter, we have it at four, so pretty good card the next one is our super counter we have OT OT you you want to have four of her so let's see we have four cost 5,000 already there I still find it pretty good even if like you increase the cost for by one but the ability and the 2,000 counter is worth it uh, so for the on play ability we have for one down you can play a page one card that costs four or less from your hand so that's like really good especially against um, luffy or kid where you want to try to be aggressive or at least have cards on the field that you can just clear his board with because you're, you're not always gonna have your king or your big kaido or your brachial bomber so you need your characters to be able to hit his uh, his characters so i think ulti for that purpose and uh, for the page one that we have at four that it brings uh, serves that purpose so page one we have it at four because we want at least try to have one combo of ulti page one go off and then the rest we can easily play them as counters. So page one, four for 6,000. So 6,000, it's a very big number and page one can be used to apply real pressure or do a lot of damage. And for 1,000 counter, it's a pretty good card. Like we have it at four and then four OT at 2,000 counters. So yeah, that's pretty good. Next character that we have, is queen and as you can see i have proxies for this deck profile but if i do get into the tournament i will open another uh, kaido deck so don't worry about that um, so yeah so queen uh, he's a five cost six thousand attack and uh, for one count uh, for one thousand counter but he is the other blocker uh, we you in my opinion you really need to increase his number to four uh, because just have a big blocker like this will help you a lot uh, against uh, Luffy and uh, Kit. They're really aggressive decks and you really need to protect yourself with Queen. But for me, 
the other ability is like the highlight of that card. Uh, on play effect, for one down, you get to draw two and trash one card. So like I said with uh, Sasaki, like these two cards are the only cards that allow you to go through your deck with the Kaido uh, structure deck. So you have a uh, kid and crocodile that have cards that reveal the top five or the top three cards, you rearrange them or you take one card. We don't have that. You know, like Kaido and Luffy doesn't have those kind of cards. Or Luffy will have with the promo, but not Kaido. So Kaido, you need to, to draw cards from your deck to be able to go get your elite game characters. So that's why I really like Queen, and not only because he's a blocker, but because of the on play effect, and he has a counter for a thousand. So if you don't need a blocker, you have a counter. The next card that we have is King. King, I only put it at three because again, like I'm gonna be repeating myself a lot. Um, like we need counters. He does not have a counter. So like for six and he hits for seven, which is pretty good. Like you want to have one or two uh, Kings on the field uh, to be able to hit big damage but it doesn't have a counter so that's one of the reasons why i don't want to put it at four because i th i do believe that counters are very important but uh, the on play effect is amazing for king uh, on play for one done uh, you ko one of your opponent characters that cost four or less so similar to who's who that targets a lot of blockers but also uh, targets a lot of cards from luffy like jinbei Zoro or uh, Sanji so very good card to uh, clear the board well not the board but you know do some damage on your opponent's board uh, by using King so very useful for that and for the last character that we have is the big Kaido 9 for 10,000 not a lot of things that can block 10,000. You will have to use a lot of resources for that, which is why this card is amazing. Uh, and the on play effect for five Dawn that you put back to your deck, uh, you get to KO a character that's six cost or less. So that, except for the kid blocker, you can destroy all the blockers aside from that one, which is a bit one of the problems that we have to face uh, if we play Kaido, but 10,000, like uh, you can easily work your way to destroying his uh, blockers. So there's no problem with that. And it also gains rush. So you play big Kaido, you destroy a character, and then you have rush. Like this card is crazy. If, you see, if your opponent sees that, coming very early because you have Onigashima Island and you have Jack, uh, they're gonna be in trouble. They're either gonna have to destroy this card or hope to God that they have all their blockers or enough counters to deal with this card because this is very difficult to deal with. And I only increase it at, like I only added one more because I do feel that like you don't wanna draw all your Kaidos early on. Like uh, you have to prioritize your other cards over him and you have to dig through your deck with Sasaki and Queen to find him, but you don't want to have two, three Kaidos in your deck. Like uh, you want to reduce your chances of dead drawing into Kaido, but you want to have enough to be able to go get him for your late games. So that's it for the characters. Before we go to the event and the stage, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see again more deck profile, if you're enjoying this type of content, and if you just want to support the channel, really appreciate it. Leave a like if so far you agree with uh, the list that I have, and if you don't, leave a comment and tell me what are the modifications that you do for my characters and later on what you will change for my event and stage so now we'll go to the events for the events 
pretty straightforward. We have four blast breath. Um, this card is is essential to the deck. One cost for 4,000 uh, increase of attack for a counter. It's pretty nuts. Even if you have to pay an additional one cost, where one done to activate it, still really good. And with Onigashima and Jack, that one cost is easily payable. So that's why we have it at four, 4,000 counters, pretty good. And then we have two Retro Bombers. So I left it at two because I do feel like two is enough. You just wanna have it there to be able to go over, again, annoying characters. So this one allows you to KO six or less, which King doesn't allow you or who's who doesn't allow you. So you want to have some of them because you can't wait until you have your big Kaido to be able to destroy a six, six cost. Like you have to have an answer to like the crocodile, uh, crocodile blocker or the, um, the character that uh, in the green deck uh, untaps and retaps. Uh, let me see which one. Uh, it's either like the, the law, the five cost law or the Hawkings. Like you want to have like you want to have a way to deal with these cards because if you leave law or hawkings on the field trust me they will do a lot of damage so two for now and like i'll keep testing the deck to see uh if maybe i'll put another one uh, but so far two seems to be enough and that's it for the event i didn't put a uh, lead performer disaster because even though it has a trigger to activate the ability, I don't, I don't find it like that useful, especially since you can't counter with that. So if you want to put like four lead performers, that, uh, lead, lead performer disaster, uh, it really, really like hinders the deck in my opinion, and for what it does, like it's a four cost, um, draw one and add an active done. Like, yeah, I understand like if you don't have anything to play, you would want to play that. But most of the times you want to try to play something else. So that's why you increase the cards for the other ones and you just take that out because other cards are, are worth it to play. So that's it for the events. And for the stage, not really surprising for Onigashima. Uh, I would love, like if I am to be honest, I would love to be able to reduce that to like three because that's another card that like you don't want to draw when you already have it like you have it and then you're stuck with two in your hand and like if you don't have um, jack or if you don't have queen like you're gonna be stuck with them like uh, it's good to have them if like you already have hit like one here then you play another jack well not another jack but you play a jack then you just trash this uh, extra onigashima or you play queen and then you you can you're able to trash your onigashima but like aside from having four to just be able to draw it early on um like that's most of the time it's gonna hinge hinder you like uh, it's it's gonna be useless uh, the moment you have one the three others are garbage but you want to have four to increase your odds to getting it uh, even though at four sometimes you don't you just don't see it but um, yeah so at four Onigashima Island pretty good card three cost uh, you may rest the, the stage to add a, a rested down uh, to your field it's essential to be able to ramp that's it for the Kaido deck profile. Uh, this is my two cents on the deck profile. Uh, I know some people have been playing the, uh, the tournament, so uh, hopefully this uh, deck can compete against uh, the other decks. Um, so yeah, so again, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if this deck profile We'll be able to win it. Uh, I have confidence. Like, 
hopefully this deck profile will go uh, will be able to top if ever I try it and leave a comment let me know what you think about this deck uh, which deck you're playing and what modifications you would do to this deck and yeah so if you want to see more I did a Kaido deck profile uh, using the cards from OP1, the video will be here or here, whichever I put it. Uh, so check it out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later.